wanted to go for a ride and Hank goes let's put a ball in the car oh my god What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. We are here at TX2K21, and behind us we have iRoz Motorsports. Hank and the guys build some of the sickest Audis in the country. We've got a handful of Audis here, a couple RS3s, a TTRS. These things make stupid power. I believe the TTRS makes, I don't know, upwards of 1100. These RS3s are making like 1300 horsepower. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go check them out. Legend. Ah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm that special, but it's fun to be here. Yeah, man. We're going for a ride in the R3. This thing makes how much? 1,300 wheel. 1,300 wheel horsepower. So, uh, being a relatively <laughs> being a relatively new platform, I'd say that's that's pretty darn wild, man. Yeah, yeah. I think we've had the cars for about three years, and in September. So we've got. Massive TRC approved stamp. Like already, so early in the feature. Got it. 
it's a, obviously they, like 1300 horsepower things make 2000 horsepower these days yeah. but let me tell let me tell you right now this would give anything i don't care how much horsepower yeah. it makes on that hit they're gonna have to catch up to you yeah i don't think i've been in anything that leaves harder than this from a roll yeah it's pretty dang good like dang brother yeah for a street car it's pretty wild for a street car yeah i mean wow we're the only sub 3.8 liter car that made the uh eliminations for or made the, the cut for rolls here at texas 2k so yeah. we brought a pretty small pocket knife to the event but we sharpened the hell out of it yeah man hey. okay so we found a private road here and we're gonna do a little de a little uh, dig test yeah, clear on this side. okay so we just basically turned traction off and then we put the hazards on that makes it front wheel drive we have a controller to be able to do that okay so then we're able to just do a burnout And then the other cool part is when you're, um, every time you're switching through them, your power meter, that's your ethanol content. So we're rolling right now with like E84, E85. Nice. This thing honestly is so cool. Oh shit, man. And it's too hot. No, that's what we're doing. It's too hot that's here in part. Texas. Ice cold AC, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cold AC. I don't yeah, know what else you can ask for. Yeah, it's very well. 13, 1300 all wheel horsepower. Turn that thing up, man, because we're coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, 
that would be a race. It would be a race. That would be a race because because I'm not gonna lie, that no, no, that no. car gets up and goes. I creep on Dan. I know what Dan's all about. <laughs> that Dan, car gets up and goes. Dan's dude. about that life. So uh, <laughs> let's make it happen one of these days, bud. That's it. TR <laughs> TRC battle. Yeah. That's it, exactly. man. I can't thank you enough. This has been. Oh man. This has been a hell of a ride, man. <laughs> and I guess you're saying there might be another one with a full interior that you might be able to take all of us for a ride in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it won't be me driving, most likely be Pat, but um, similar kit to this, makes similar powers. Gonna have, hopefully, four dudes in the car and a uh, full interior, so it'll be a little <laughs> slower, but you don't see cars that often that you can take four of your friends in for a ride on. All right, guys, so the guys on the team wanted to go for a ride, and Hank goes, let's put a ball in the car. All right, so I'm Hank Iros from Iros Motorsport. We're out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We are out here at Texas 2K for the first time. Uh, this last couple of years, we've really ramped up our program to be able to make these RS3s and TTRSs. These five cylinders go pretty darn fast. So we brought three cars out. One is a TTRS, which is behind me. It has our IMS 1000 kit, makes a little over 1050 at the wheel. We brought this car out to do roll racing with it. It ended up doing 177 in the in the roll race, which qualified us for eliminations. Pretty cool, just because this was the only car that was underneath 3.8 liters that actually qualified. So uh, we got quite a bit of work done with the little 2.5 liter. We also brought out Patrick's car, which is an IMS 1100 with some nitrous on it. Makes about 1300 at the wheel. A pretty heavy car. And we brought that out for roll racing as well. And he qualified that for roll racing as well. Uh, a little bit of growing pains trying to get those cars to leave. Uh, we just needed to learn the event a little bit better. And that's why we came out. Um, Peter didn't realize we wanted to bring cars out. So some of the rules didn't really fit the RS3. It didn't really class super well, but we wanted to come out and show Peter that we're for real. Uh, we have really fast cars, we're super competitive, and that we can have clients that can go just as fast as a lot of the cars out here. So Patrick's car did a really good job of showcasing that. And then the last car we brought out was Jeff Thompson's uh, IMS 1100 RS3. It's the black car. And we entered that in roll racing and drag racing. 
but really we were more interested in drag racing the car, so we kind of stopped caring too much about the roll race event, even though it, it did go 177 in qualifying as well. That car, every pass has gotten faster. It started out at, at 850s and then it went down to 840s and then down to 830s. hoping to punch it into the 820s, 810s, this last couple passes of the day. Uh, it's kind of hard because we didn't really class well for DCT because we have built motors in these. And it's just an oversight in, in organizing the event. They didn't realize that the RS3s were really on the radar. And now looking at the times of what we were able to put down, Peter is so excited about us coming back next year and he's gonna put these cars in some classes that can help us try to go rounds and, and uh, really showcase what we're doing out here. So we have Patrick's and Jeff Thompson's car. They are virtually identical cars in power and spec. They're both our stage three motor builds, which is sleeve blocks with our CNC ported heads, bigger cams. We also have upgraded valve train in them. It lets us spin them up to close to 9,000. We're using Zona Rotor turbos. Both of them have 105.69. That's a 72 millimeter turbocharger. Uh, we're using that turbo mostly because we want to go play in Maryland later on this year at Jason's events. We want to go play at imports versus domestics, and we also want to play in the Derby. So we've kind of kept them at that 72 millimeter just so we can be able to do that without changing a whole lot of stuff. They all have uh, clutches in them, drive chef shops, given us really good products to keep the axles in them. We brought a whole bunch of spares. We haven't used any of them, so pretty stock transmissions. These, the jewel of this car is that it just has a killer DCT in it. The gears are really, really strong. We're starting to break them over a thousand foot pounds, but it's pretty insane that we've put these cars into the sevens on a transmission with virtually a clutch and a wave track in them. They, they do a really, really good job. Injector Dynamics is, is who's supplying the fuel to them. We put 1700X injectors in almost everything we build these days. And then all of them are being controlled by Cyvex. We do all of our calibration in-house on our main line. We come out pre pretty prepared to, to have a good time. So the blue car behind me, it is a, an IMS 1000 kit, which comprises of our 68 millimeter Zona Rotor, which is a 9569. It's a turbo that we can put in full weight RS3s and go eights in, so we love that thing. Uh, bone stock transmission with wave track and some clutches in it. Drive shaft shop also has axles in this car. Injector Dynamics has a set of 1300X in, in this car as well. Also a Cyvex car with all the flex fuel, all those features that we feature in the, the two RS3s as well. It has gone 882 at 162. And a full weight car, it's brand new. The thing has 900 miles on it. We got it with like a couple hundred miles on it straight from the dealer. Basically, this is just the significant others of Jeff Thompson's RS3. So it's pretty cool. They have a him and hers car. They go out racing. And we're getting ready, ready to sink our teeth into an R8 project with them as well. So 60 to 130, this car's in the threes. It goes 385 is what it's done, 60 to 130. And then 100 to 150, it's right at 35. So pretty fast street car. There's definitely faster stuff here, but in Las Vegas, there's not a whole lot of stuff that can, can play with this thing. And it has like the earrings still in the cup holder. <laughs> this car kind of gets a stigma of being a chick car. I kind of get it, right? Uh, but this is one of the first car TTRSs I've ever built for a woman. Um, and Brooke really enjoys the car, so. The black RS3 yesterday, I had a draggy on that car. It went 60 to 130 and 3.3. Three and did 100 to 200 and 3.1. So pretty fast cars. I, I haven't looked at this zero to 60, but to cut a 138, 137, my guess it's probably like a 19, 192, something like that, zero to 60. So we're out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We're actually on campus at the Speedway. So we drove about 25 hours to be here at this track when we have a track about 600 yards from our shop. When we, do, when we race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, we pit at the shop. We get the radio station at the shop. So, you know, we really just wanted to come out here and show what, what we can do on this stage. It's the biggest stage. It's fun in Las Vegas being kind of a big 
a big dog in that city, but you come out here and you start you start measuring out that you, you have a pretty small little knife to a gunfight. It's been really fun to rub shoulders with some brilliant minds in our industry and, and kind of measure what's going on out there. We have four facilities where we split up the work. We have a manufacturing facility. It's about 4,500 square feet. And then we have a service facility that's about 75. And then we have a Dyna facility and, and a, a parts facility. Um, so we break it up into different different portions of the business. As we get further and further and further into the market and into this industry, we realize we just can only control what we can control. So we try to bring everything in house and do the fabrication, the manufacturing, the service, the calibration. The more we can control in house, the more we can control our own destiny. So we're planning on bringing four cars out here and uh, our shop car, my blue RS3, we had that car on an 1100 kit, much like these two RS3s are on here this weekend. And we really wanted to make that car go sevens. It was right on the edge. It's a little bit lighter than that black car. And everybody kept saying, oh, you need to go bigger turbo, bigger turbo, go faster, faster. But we really wanted to, to make sure that we went sevens on the kit that we stock on the shelf, that we put in a box and we send out to people. It was super important for us. So the second we went sevens, uh, out in Famoso, we ripped that thing off and we went to a bigger 76 millimeter turbo. It's making a ton of power, but we're just finding that we can't keep some of the transmission components together. And just last second, we gave it a really good effort, but we needed to make sure our clients were taken care of. We left Old Blue at home. Uh, we'll bring that thing out next year. We'll have a few billet parts in the transmission that will make it to where we can keep those things together. That car kind of got famous from the Hoonicorn episode with uh, with our really good friends Brian Scotto and the guys over at Hoonigan. They are such a riot to play around with. They invited us out to uh, an airstrip out in California and let us run that Hoonicorn. <laughs> That car is so fast. I mean, there's a lot of speculation on how fast that car is, and take it from me, uh, we have really fast street cars on unprepped surface, and that car is really, really fast. Uh, we ran it four times, one, two, lost two. It was the best out of three, so I, I guess we can give, give them the W for that, but I can tell you this much, it wasn't, it wasn't gonna win another race after that fourth one. It, it wasn't gonna happen. You couldn't have turned that unicorn up enough to, to, to take care of that blue RS3. A couple weeks later, we took it out to Famoso and ended up punching it into the sevens. It went 798 at 174, I believe. turned it up is making like another couple hundred horsepower from the unicorn event so really good tv we appreciate ken block giving us that opportunity we look forward to working with him in the future as well he's pretty impressed with what we're doing with these rs3s i mean we're out here with half of the huracan and half of the r8 motor it's a two and a half liter instead of a 5.2 um, but we have a really really good shot of being the fastest audi at texas 2k like let that sink in you know we have underground here with some big r8s we have Sheepy here with some big R8s, and yeah, we have a chance to, we're, we're like three one hundredths off the fastest Audi at Texas 2K in our, in our uh, freshman season. It was freshman? Yeah, I guess that's what you'd call that, right? So we're pretty pumped. We just picked up a 2018 V10 Plus in Miami Blue, beautiful car, and that's going to be our shop mule going forward. So we plan on coming out here next year making some noise with that thing. Uh, we have some really good ideas. Our engine program for the RS3, our sleeving, our cylinder heads, our cylinder ports, it's all very kissing cousin stuff. Uh, it's really fun in the, in, the, in the Volkswagen Audi group, they're just so lazy. So the, all the codes on these are, are 07K. Uh, that's the, the prefix for all the part numbers and all the V10 parts are 07L. So it's like just the next letter after K because they're that close. So. If we're doing 13, 1400 horsepower with these things, we're pretty confident we're gonna be able to ramp up into that 22, 2400 horsepower range. 
with not a lot of work. The transmission controllers are very similar, um, very similar engine architecture, very similar systems for the modules. I think we can really come into that market and make some noise. Um, huge shout out to Unitronics. They are who help us with the transmission stuff. And that's the hard part of this. Uh, making a lot of horsepower is relatively easy. Getting them to go down the track fast is the hard part, and they've been a really good partner of ours. I think we're good. Yeah, or oh, one more, one more, one more. I'm sorry, Javier. I'm sorry I cost you like $50,000 with that ride along. <laughs> uh, I'll help you build the car, right? Is that, we got to smoke Dan, so uh, we'll, we'll build a car that can smoke Dan at, at uh, TRC. Does that sound like a plan? I'm gonna hold you to that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, this man's already got a GTR. I drive a GLI. <laughs> I think that I should get the, the Audi. You know, so Dan, you better you better put a you better put a billet block in that thing because you're not gonna have enough, man. I guarantee you. If if he gets an RS3, you're gonna have to put a billet block in that thing. So start saving up, all right? <laughs>